When a young mom gives birth to a stillborn daughter, she goes to say one final goodbye to her in the morgue. Whilst there, she discovers something unbelievable. Analia stood in the doorway of the morgue. Stepping into the room to say goodbye to her daughter felt too much. If she held back, she could pretend it wasn't happening to her. Her partner, Fabian, placed his arm gently around her and she knew she would have to enter the room. Her daughter looked so small laid out in the morgue. Everything felt too clinical and stark. Her baby was supposed to be surrounded by love and laughter, not lying alone in a cold room. Analia and Fabian took a step towards the table. With shaking hands, Analia pulled back the sheet covering her baby. She wanted to be able to hold her hand one last time. The little girl looked like she was covered in frost and Analia shook from the coldness in the room. As she held her daughter's tiny fingers in her hand, she discovered something unbelievable. When Analia Buter fell pregnant with her fifth child, she and her partner Fabian were delighted. The couple soon learned that they would be having a little girl. Analia didn't plan on having any more children after this, so she wanted to really enjoy her last pregnancy. Luckily, she had a fairly smooth time carrying the child. She was grateful to have the opportunity to bring back another life into the world once again. The couple spent most of the pregnancy thinking of names for their daughter, decorating the nursery, and making sure their other children felt included in the pregnancy journey. They were pleased to see that their other kids were excited to be gaining a baby sister. At six months pregnant, Analia was taking some much-needed time to relax out in the garden. Suddenly, she began to get pains shooting through her body. She was sure she was just experiencing false labor pains, as she had with her other children. Not feeling too concerned, Analia tried to stay calm and waited for the pain to pass. However, rather than easing, the pain got worse and Analia started to get worried. With three months of her pregnancy left, she was worried she'd gone into labor. Noticing how much pain she was in, Fabian drove Analia to the hospital. He tried to stay calm, but knew something wasn't right. Doctors wasted no time in hooking up Analia to various machines so they could monitor her and the baby. It quickly became apparent that she was in fact in labor and that there was no stopping the early arrival of her baby. Analia was distraught. Had she done something to cause the premature birth? Perhaps she'd not rested enough and guilt consumed her throughout the long and painful labor. After 17 hours, Analia and Fabian's daughter was finally born, but the couple couldn't relax. They'd expected cries to echo around the delivery room, but instead, a heavy silence hung in the air. Desperate to know what was happening, Analia began shouting at the nurses to tell her if her baby was okay. Amidst the commotion, she noticed that the doctors and nurses had suddenly stopped rushing around. A nurse turned towards the couple holding the tiny baby in her arms. As he approached Analia, she whispered that she was sorry but their daughter was stillborn. Analia let out a heartbroken cry. How could she deal with this? She held her tiny daughter against her as Fabian embraced them both, tears falling down his face. The couple was given no time with their daughter, and doctors soon took her away to the morgue, telling the couple they could come and see her later. Before she was taken, they decided to name her Lucia. The couple was left feeling empty and shocked at the lack of sympathy from the doctors. It all felt really rushed and clinical. Hours passed by before Analia and Fabian were allowed to see their daughter again. With the pain of their loss etched on their faces, they made their way to the morgue. When the doors opened, Analia refused to enter. Fabian gently wrapped his arm around her and squeezed. He was struggling with the loss of his daughter too, but wanted to stay strong for his wife. Seemingly drawing some strength from him, Analia took a step into the morgue and went over to her daughter. She reached out for the cover with a shaking hand and gently pulled it back, wishing to hold her daughter's hand for one last time. The little girl looked like she was sleeping, but she was also covered in what looked like frost. Analia shivered at the thought. Fabian gently stroked his daughter's head as Analia took hold of her tiny fingers. Just then, something unbelievable happened. Lucia moved. Analia thought that in her grief-stricken state, she'd imagined it. But when it happened a second time, Fabian also noticed. When their daughter began making small whimpering sounds, the doctor who had accompanied them to the morgue rushed over. Lucia had come back from the dead. Analia picked up her daughter and held her close while Fabian praised God for the miracle. The couple were rushed back to the ward so Lucia could be checked over. Nothing seemed to matter to the couple now though. Hours ago they were told their daughter had died and now she was alive. The unbelievable had happened. Almost instantly the couple knew they wanted to change their daughter's name. They decided Luz Milagos 
which means miracle light, was a much better fit now that their daughter was a living miracle. Little Luz was kept in hospital for the next few weeks, where she could be monitored, but she seemed to be doing well. The doctors who had been present at birth insisted that the little girl had no vital signs when she was born. The only explanation that doctors had was that the colder temperatures in the morgue had somehow altered Luz's metabolism and helped her survive. This oversight was too big to ignore, though, and the original medical team was suspended while new doctors were put in charge of the miracle baby's care. Luz initially seemed to be doing well, but doctors worried about the fact that she had been born with no vital signs. The little girl also didn't seem as responsive as she should be, and more tests were carried out to try and get some answers. Doctors discovered that Luz had microcephaly, a condition that she would need stem cell treatment for if she had any hope of surviving. The news crushed the couple, but they knew they needed to stay strong to help their daughter. The stem cell treatment would have to take place in China, so the couple set about fundraising for little Luz. It wasn't as straightforward as they'd hoped, though and baby Luz suffered from a high number of health complications and developmental issues that stretched beyond original diagnosis. Despite the setbacks, the couple continued to fundraise, hopeful that the stem cell treatment would help. They never took for granted the kindness of strangers who were willing to help them. Their four other children also showed a fighting spirit as they took care of their little sister without any complaints. Nalia and Fabian had just started to hope that things might work out when tragedy struck again. The couple were getting ready to go to the hospital with Luz for a checkup when she went into cardiac arrest. Doctors and nurses did all they could to help, but Luz remained in critical condition. Suddenly, the family was faced with the idea that they might lose their daughter again. The last two years had been tough. From thinking their daughter had been stillborn to the miracle that brought her back, the couple prayed that God would grant them one more miracle and keep their daughter alive. As soon as a doctor appeared in the waiting room, the couple knew the news wasn't good. The look of pity was a giveaway. The doctor explained that Luz had sadly passed away, and Alia ran out of the room to find her daughter. Doctors had been wrong before, and she refused to believe that they'd lost their daughter for a second time. Bursting into her daughter's hospital room, Analia scooped up her daughter and screamed for her to wake up. This time, there would be no miracle. The couple took solace in the fact that their daughter was now at peace but they were sure their family would never be the same again. Little Luz had stayed true to her name. She really had been a miracle light for the family. And now that light had sadly gone out. Now it's over to you. What did you think of this story? How would you have reacted if doctors had wrongly declared your baby dead? We would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video.